Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. Wiley, doing the best I can here. We got some questions for you. How'd that running work out for you, motherfucker? Stupid shit. Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Was well, that enough? Then you're smoking. Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! <laughs> You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. And then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he used with that thing to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. <laughs> that mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up. Telling what Aldridge is after. The Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest like corner the of the bayou. All right, let's go. So from the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge has some well trained men working. No surprise. Cocksucker was always partial to freelancers. Never could see the appeal of using mercenaries myself. Didn't see you complaining when that Noong MSF battalion saved our asses last year. Those are some mean motherfuckers. Lucky they were on our side. <laughs> Mercs aren't exactly known for being cuddly. Wouldn't last long if they were. Oh, 
God damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give me any of that traitorous fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn front. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine. Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! <sighs> There's a way in back here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with the mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! You see what I did to your friend here? <laughs> you can't! And are you gonna be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. Until we find you, bro. Jesus, you're through. Following your lead. Huh? Stick around. Just go. Got it. Don't let me die like this. Can you move? I get your ass gone. Oh. 
Was that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah, how else? What did you touch? What? Uh, nothing, man. Zero. Zero. Goodbye. Goodbye? What the fuck does that mean? We better hurry the fuck up. Let's keep moving. She's in my sights! Eyes up. Mr. Aldridge wants this area locked down. He's down! Start to feel like a for this they've got any more buddies they're in the wind Security door has been engaged. You hang on to it. I'll slide on it. Hold it open for you from the other side. You got it? You got it? But make it snappy.
Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Quiet as a mouse. God. Where's the fucking safe? There it is. There's no safe. Aldridge! Uh. Welcome to the show, Johnny. Yes. You got one last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head off. All right, all right. All right. All right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless! Attaboy. <laughs> How's the hand? How's the face? <sighs> Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck. Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. We got company. I'm gonna personally put each one of you in the fuck round. Getting low. Gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. God damn it. Open, god damn it. Motherfuck! On the call.
here and get this door open. God damn it! What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck! What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldrich talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana. But they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or kami princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. This man, Connor Aldridge, when did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldridge was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track that higher.
My guys picked up chatter on the wire. Think you can get us there ahead of them? I'm up for trying. Good. Let's go. The department store Paya's works out of is up in Frisco Fields. A place called Bois Rose. All right, we'll get there right quick. How exactly does an old money shop like Bois Rose end up employing a Cuban exile working for the CIA? Old money comes with a lot of old secrets. And 10,000 taxpayer dollars each month. The motherfuckers call me a criminal. Come on! Come on! My grandmother can drive faster than this. Well, let's go get the old bag and see what she can do. There's Washero. The son of Aldrich's Mercs. This hour, Aya oh. should be on duty with the rest of the janitorial staff. Motherfucker, do we look like we're here to buy a goddamn blender? Hayez, where is he? Look, last time I saw him, he was on the third floor. Thanks, buddy. Oh, and you and your crew who want to keep breathing should clear out. There are some real assholes on their way here. Some of this shit costs more than I take home in a year. Yeah, but you spend it on cheap booze and loose women. The booze is never cheap. Hey, pal. Get out of here. Cops are on their way. They know about you. Oh, shit! Thanks! You buy it? Depends. Who the fuck is asking? Two motherfuckers who are trying to keep your ass alive. We need to move. Now. Following your lead. Watch Somebody out! do something! Shit, I'm taking cover! I am scared of you! Get him on bullets!
about Songa. Tell me what the fuck this is about. It's about you, a bunch of your Cubano pals, and one goddamn nuke. Oh. And I can assume that they want me dead and you want me alive. You most certainly can, bro. Let's fuck him up, lad! Hold him! Come help me! handle the shooting from here on out. <laughs> hey, no argument for me. Gentlemen, I think we found our ride out of here. Pius, you're riding down. Lincoln. I'm on the tour. You read my mind.
Make me replace this uniform. Eso cabrones. Coño. Of them. Pius, how you feeling? Uh, anybody else cold? Hold tight. We'll get you patched up. We need to get him inside. Hold on, buddy. We brought you a live one. Yeah, I can see that. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you guys? One of Aldridge's men clipped him. Oh, God, I don't want to die. You're not going to die. Tell me your name. Ruben. Ruben, well, lucky for you, I've had my fair share of battlefield medals. Do you know what that means? No. It means you're gonna be just fine. Uh, Looks like the bullet went clean through. All right, move your hand. This is gonna hurt. Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, your plane. Where is it? There was a storm. Yeah, we know about the storm. Where'd you go down? Uh, last readings was... Uh, 22.5 degree latitude and 87, 87.9 degree longitude. Where the fuck were you heading west? After that shit with, with Kennedy, Khrushchev told Fidel to return the warhead. He didn't want to send with the disassembled missiles, so we arranged to meet the Russians uh, at an airstrip uh, outside of Mexico City. Perfect. Thanks, Paez. I gobble into madre. Huh? Sure. Look, I'm gonna get us a boat. You meet me when you're ready. You got this? Yeah, go on. Get your boy here patched up and out of town. Hey, hey! Oh, you bastard. Ready when you are, Captain. Right then. Let's go get that motherfucker. Still be there. He will be. Has to be. All right, man, enough. We were running all over the goddamn place. It's about time you tell me what went down between you and Aldridge. It's 1963. I'd been in country a little under two years. Andai, John. 
Chong Shin Shack. Stay out of this, Johnny. That's not exactly my style. Chong's not coming. What did you do? Let's just say Chong had a little accident. Fell down a very deep well. But not before he spilled all your dirty little secrets. Like how you've been feeding intel to the NVA? The U.S. government executes traitors, you know that, right? Fuck you. I'm hoping they'll hang you. But I will settle for a firing squad. Let's go. to shoot things over with the NVA. So why don't you tell me where those SOG recon teams are headed? <laughs> you really think that I didn't pass on what Tron told me? Right now, every moron in your little circle jerk is being rounded up. I always thought the company was halfway decent at screening out dumbasses. <laughs> Guess I was wrong. <sighs> That's funny. That's real funny. <sighs> Before he could go to work on me, a couple MPs showed up. They heard the shot and came running. And Aldridge escaped. He's a slippery little fucker, I'll give him that much. Come on, let's go find that goddamn piss ant. Let's move to high ground, get eyes on the situation. Got intel on this place? Used to have a decent fishing industry, but that died off a while ago. Residents relocated to the mainland. The island's been abandoned ever since. There's a whole squad of motherfuckers who swooped in and grabbed by it. Nah, that's a load of shit. It was two guys. You're telling me that two guys took out that many of our men. I'm telling you it was two guys who took out that many of our guys. And it's those same two men who are likely heading here. God damn. You're just full of good news, aren't you? It's a gift. Dealer's choice. I can handle his friend. Feast your eyes on the town of Hermosa Pez, or what remains of it anyway. Looks like Aldrich's Merc set up camp by that old church. Following you, someone must be in charge down there. We should see what we can get out of it. Looks like they got some high power weaponry over there. One asshole manning it. Try not to piss him off? Nah, I'm just gonna go give him a hug.
upon you. I'm telling you, everybody's got a scam. Even that fucking kid. No, man. You wouldn't do something like that. Not to me. Well, don't complain to me if you find out he's plowed your girl and shot your dog when you get home next week. Shots a motherfucker. <laughs> he can't hide from me. <whistles> motherfucker cannot shake my resolve. They're gone like last two. <laughs> Jesus, you. I think he's dead. Up ahead, two, maybe three clicks. Thanks. What happens if Aldridge gets out in the wild with his nuke? According to the Mad Doctrine, the only thing keeping us from full-scale nuclear annihilation is knowing there's enough nukes between us and the Soviets to wipe out the planet. Mutually assured destruction. Mad. 
It's our failsafe. But if a single nuke falls into the wrong hands, some rogue actor, that's where the boat starts tipping, and all bets are off. So what you're saying is you have no idea. Not a god... What was I talking about? Not a goddamn clue. This area is crawling with mercs. You got a plan? If I can get up on that ridge and catch those assholes off guard, they may save us some trouble. All right. Guess that leaves a low ground for me. Lincoln, need a hand. Oh, hey. Watch the personal space. God damn. From here, that plane looks like it's barely holding together. Oh, come on. You scared? Motherfucker, you know how I feel about planes. Yeah, but this one's already crashed. Fuck you for even saying that. Eyes on a Merc. Putting him down. He's not making it off the island. Brother, resist. Shit. Okay, fine. I'll cover you from here. Throw me a signal if you want me to open fire. Roger that. All I'm saying is, if we slit his throat in his sleep, ain't no one dropping a tear for him. Maybe not. But being an asshole ain't a reason to kill a man. Are you fucking serious? Murdering assholes for being assholes is what we do. Literally. Taking the shot. Christ. Oh, now let's hit these cocksuckers with all we got. Alright. I'm out. Oh. Oh.
After you, Pansy. <laughs> God damn it! He beat us here. Well, he couldn't have gone far with that thing. Don't fucking move. The two of you. Turn around slowly. Where's the warhead? Mr. Aldrich is going to be real happy to see the two of you. Hey, shit for brains. I asked you a goddamn question. Where's the nuke? Ask me again, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck you call it, boy? Boy! Please, don't kill me. So, what's Aldridge doing? With the war! Ah! Hmm? He's got a contact huh? in the NBA! Some general, he's paying big money for it! Motherfucker! I swear, it's the truth! Shh, shh, quiet. Uh, uh, go! Uh, 